Hello and welcome to the print. Today we have with us Iqbal Singh Ralpura ji who is the chairman of the National Commission for Minorities and has recently been appointed as the member of the BJP's parliamentary board as well. And we have with us the print's political editor DK Singh. Uh, thank you so much sir for joining us uh, in this conversation. Uh, so you have been into politics for over a decade and you have yes. already made it to the top decision making body of the BJP where uh, you'll be rubbing shoulders with the PM and top leaders. So how have you made it so big in such a short time? Uh, thank you very much. Mm. I have 50 years public life. Mm. My public life started in 1972. And uh, I was, I am a writer, basically. So my articles are published world over in newspapers for the last maybe 25 years. Mm -hmm. So uh, nothing new for me, public life. Mm -hmm. When you write or you speak something, reaction is there mm -hmm. and you have to amend yourself or suffer. So I have been writing on Sikh history and philosophy and the current events for the last 25 years. So I am thankful to my Honorable Prime Minister and party president for giving me this opportunity to serve the country. So what she is saying that, you know, becoming a member of the parliamentary board is a big deal and within a decade of your political career. Thank so, you very much, only to the party <laughs> for having this uh, confidence in me. So coming to the, you know, in the first place, uh, in 2012, when you join politics. I mean, you decided to join the BJP. You know, you were a celebrated police officer in Punjab. Yeah. And the BJP has been a marginal political player in the state. So why would you join the BJP? When there anybody, are, anybody else would have welcomed you. I, as I told you that I started my career in police in 1972. I have been actively involved in all uh, you call it anti-militancy operations, mm -hmm. you call it militant activities mm -hmm. to cover it, to control it. So we have seen the reactions of various political parties. There are only two parties, national party, one is Congress and other is Bharatiya Janata Party. So to me, Congress is responsible for all the problems in Punjab. That comes to personal vendetta, that comes to injustice, only Congress is responsible, no other party. So the only option to serve the nation, uh, I am of the view, if you write something, you should also act on that. Mm -hmm. If you say that there should be justice, you should fight for justice also. Mm -hmm. I have been sitting on Tarnas, I have been agitating against this mining and other things uh, during this uh, public life. How is it like, you know, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, uh, his magic works everywhere in all elections, but it doesn't work in Punjab. I mean, why is it so? Uh, Punjab uh, had the previous election in uh, 2014. Uh, there were wave again. We actually in Punjab, we are to contest election after 25 years, maybe. Mm. Earlier, we were not their partners. Mm. Partnership is 50-50. Mm. Partnership is 40-60. Mm. But we were less than 20%. This was like serving the society. The no, no, no. It was with a cause. Mm. It was a cause for Hindu security. It was a cause for peace in Punjab. So we sacrificed our political uh, uh, seats to the Akalis mm -hmm. to make it a g good combination where people can have justice and peace. But I'm talking with Modi magic. Why doesn't it work in Punjab? Modi magic has. We contested three seats in Punjab and we want to. And the other yes. two were also... Assembly mm -hmm. election. The uh, election was in its... Uh, different atmosphere. Mm. There was a uh, 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 atmosphere created by vested people who lost their deposits, mm. the Kisan Union. Mm. So they made it a Sikh versus 
ਸੈਂਟਰ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਐਂਡ ਦੀ ਸਿੱਖ ਪੋਪੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਇਸ 57% percent ਦੇ ਮਿਸਲੈਡ ਦੀ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਟਾਈਮ ਵੈਨ देयर ਵਾਸ ਬਾਰਚਿਸ ਫਰਮ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਤਖਤ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਦਮਦਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਕੇਸਕਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਅਗੇਂਸਟ ਦੀ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਬਾਈ ਅਕਾਲੀਸ ਲੈਟ ਬਾਈ ਸੁਖਦੀਪ ਸੁਖਬੀਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਬਾਦਲ ਜੀ ਹਰਸਿਮਰਤ ਕੌਰ ਬਾਦਲ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਪ੍ਰੇਮ ਸਿੰਘ ਚੰਦੂ ਮਾਜਰਾ ਜੀ ਕਿਸਾਨੀ ਐਵਰੀਬਾਡੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਫਾਰਮਰ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਆਲਸੋ ਅ ਫਾਰਮਰ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਵਿਦ ਐਨੀ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਨ ਓਨਲੀ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਮੇਡ ਇਟ ਅ ਸਚ ਅ ਐਟਮੋਸਫੀਅਰ देयर ਐਂਡ ਪੀਪਲ ਫਰਮ ਅਦਰ ਕੰਟਰੀਜ਼ ਵਰ ਆਲਸੋ ਇਨਵੋਲਵਡ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਸੋ देयर ਵਾਸ ਅ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰ ਗੰਡਾ ਅਗੇਂਸਟ ਦੀ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਸੀਨ ਦੀ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਟੈਲੀਵਿਜ਼ਨ ਪ੍ਰੋਪੋਗੇਟਿੰਗ ਦੀ ਕਿਸਾਨ ਐਜੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਹਾਊ देयर ਕਨਸਰਨਡ ਵਿਦ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਐਜੀਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੂੰ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲ ਵਰਲਡ ਓਵਰ what's your uh, analysis of you know how the aam aadmi party registered such a massive victory in punjab aam aadmi party is the party who were the first to uh, recti- uh, the to take up this bills the kisan uh, uh, act in the, uh, delhi mm-hmm. and then they somersaulted to say that we don't want these acts are against the farmer now the conditions in punjab were like this people were against the akalis for sacrilege of shri guru granth sahib mm-hmm. for giving pardon to a dera which the uh, which the six did not like mm-hmm. and the other party where the congress were deep into corruption mm-hmm. and people were looking for an alternative mm-hmm. and they gave false promises we will give 1000 rupees we will uh, bus service will free free electricity and uh, now this has become a habit of uh, the people of the state for free buys they are looking for free ration and i think that is not the right policy which you cannot deliver you should not say punjab is in shambles now so they wanted an alternative they have got one it's early days yet but how do you think the bhagwant man government is working bhagwant man government is not working at all reason being the uh, police act says the supreme court says that the uh, the uh, dgp or the district sp or the sho will stay at the uh, at their place of posting for at least 2 years now they have removed the dgp within 6 month and threatened him with a disciplinary action if he do not proceed on leave in fact there have been five dgps in the last one year 11 months or so yes and the, the the i don't think how this system will work if we the court passes an order and it is not implemented somebody should be there to see that these violations are punished before i talk more on politics uh, let me take you back to your days as a police officer you know most of our viewers were not even born then or were very young as i myself was when you were a police officer and militancy was at its peak in punjab can you tell us how punjab looked like then you have read about it but to hear it from you when you were a police officer there punjab uh the militancy has its background day back to 75 or maybe little later a little earlier because there was resentment as it is today a sacrilege of shri guru granth sahib against narankaris uh, as allegedly they were not giving respect to shri guru granth sahib so there were clashes at many places on april 13th there was a clash in amritsar in which 17 people were killed 13 were from the sikh community and two were the passerbys and two from narankaris that case was acquitted on flimsy ground by karnal court i was part of that investigation team mm-hmm. and we see that that was that should not have been the reason to acquit the criminals after all 17 people had died who killed them that should have been investigated 
that uh, went against the government because there was not no appeal in the high court no pre appeal in the supreme court as we say in punjabi tang adam bhajang amat if we don't get justice you take to the arms talking about that case in fact uh, you were the one who arrested janel singh bindra in that yes. case only i think in yes. 1981 81 20th uh, of september how is the can you tell us about that <laughs> actually that was the first case in which the accused decided that i will surrender on 20th of uh, september mm. because he came to mehta chowk on 12th night uh, lala jagtnaran was murdered on 9th of september mm. there was some kind of uh, i think there was no information to the amritsar police at that time that san janal singh ji is wanted or uh, san janal singh is wanted in that case yeah. so when he reached uh, his dera we negotiated i was also one of the person who was to negotiate him his arrest and he was ready to surrender yeah. on 30th morning yeah. but uh, the government of time the congress government sent a senior police officer there and gave him 7 days time that now we will arrest him on 20th oh. so that was the time when people in large number gathered oh. from all over punjab and delhi also oh. there were speeches against the government oh. and ultimately there were killings also oh. so we were supposed to uh, be i was supposed to serve the brunt of arrest along oh. with my two colleagues so we arrested him and took him to basiya that is in ludhiana and handed over to ludhiana police for further investigation so was he in the lockup no he was given to uh, he was they were investigating the case from a uh, rest house in basiya rest house mm. that is near flor okay. how difficult was the job of a police officer in punjab in those days now uh, as a I was just discussing with you the DIG S Atwal who was killed on the steps of the Golden Temple, and all police officials ran away from there. His driver, everybody, and for hours nobody claimed his body, and you were the one who retrieved his body finally after. Actually, all that uh, day, uh, the district SP was holding a meeting of the police officers of the district mm. in police lines, which is almost six kilometer. from golden temple mm. so news came to us only in meeting that mr atwal has been murdered there was police force deployed already under a sp near golden temple mm. but uh, somehow they did not react to it his dead body was lying outside the golden temple mm. and uh, uh, the general was lying in mud or uh, in uh, sand so i Uh, took the courage mm. to retrieve his dead body and take it to the hospital for post mortem and unluckily his dead body was lying there for almost 6 hours in the uh, mortuary and no officer came to pay him even regards so i raised the why, why, why was it i mean he was a DIG. there was commotion there was no uh, they, they didn't know what how to react so government uh, did not uh, took a reaction that was the darbara singh government darbara singh government and did he negotiate with the bhindra wale that you know my dead body was not. lying outside and we hmm. brought it back that case was in hand over for investigation hmm. to the then cbi hmm. later on what happened in that case finally who was called? i don't know what happened hmm. but uh, it is not in the public Okay, whether they were arrested, they were killed. So, as far as I know, some of the criminals involved were later on uh, uh, died during uh, police encounters. So, how difficult was the job of a police officer? It was Will very difficult. Very mm-hmm. difficult. Mm-hmm. It was very difficult. Difficult. You get calls from Golden Temple mm-hmm. for all things. 
कि यू गिव बेनिफिट टू दिस पर्सन और टेक एक्शन अगेंस्ट दैट पर्सन एंड अगेन देर वर किलिंग ऑफ पुलिस अफसर्स फॉर डिफाइंग द डिक्टेट्स ऑफ द गोल्डन टेम्पल देर देर वॉज टोटल क्योस एंड पीपल वर अफ्रेड ऑफ द एक्चुअली द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ पुलिस वॉज वेरी स्मॉल देर वर ओनली थर्टी थाउजेंड पुलिस इन पंजाब एंड दे वर नॉट प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर दिस मिलीटेंसी now their number is about 1 lakh they are well prepared well trained so you were complying with instructions from inside the golden temple what was the government doing there the government uh, actually on uh, in on 6th of october 1983 darwara singh government was dismissed then it was paid in true mm. so darwara singh was there for almost one year mm. of the agitation actually agitation started on 4th of august 1982 so he was uh, there for one year mm. and later on there was president too when uh, there was a massacre in the bus near tilma bias mm. that then his government was dismissed mm. but it started much earlier bindrawala rule and the way he was calling bindrawala rule was uh, not it bindrawala came into prominence in 1978 on after that those clashes yes earlier he was nominated or elected or uh, made chief of damdami taksal one sect uh, in uh, september 1977 so as head his uh, tenure was only 6 7 months before the drankari clash mm. then came politics what was the politics then then uh, the congress was out of power mm. so then 79 there was scpc elections and bindrawala fought against akalis mm. mm-hmm. and congress was as the uh, uh, the fact is they supported the bindrawala group in scpc elections mm. he could win only four seats then there was that, that was the time when indira gandhi used to say ke and rajiv gandhi that bindrawala is a saint <laughs> what do you think about the situation in punjab today because you know captain avinder singh has been saying it for long that radical elements are raising their heads again and pakistan is trying to form an trouble I mean, what's your feedback how is the situation actually one part you are missing how it was controlled hmm <laughs> the militancy was not controlled by gun only it was controlled by talking to them persuading them to surrender in hundreds and uh, s- uh, trying to settle them uh, uh, for a peaceful life mm. so many thousand people surrendered during uh, 90s mm. and uh, the militancy was controlled mm. by 92 93 mm. now we have not done anything to give cream to their wounds mm. to psychologically i had spoken to uh, said to the then chief minister sarbyan singh that we must have a truth and reconciliation type of commission which was uh, made uh, created by nelson mandela ji in mm. south africa mm. let us sit and talk to them and talk their things now it is not the people sitting in punjab it is the people sitting abroad mm. it is the people sitting outside the uh, india people sitting in pakistan the isi the other people mm. who wants law and order situation in punjab mm. to get the benefit in uh, jammu kashmir so it's a proxy war so are the we are fighting a proxy war Uh, for india this is one region and the other reason is the in our time police was with social face mm. they were most of the police officer were considered as friend people had faith in them there were officers who were 100% honest mm. but now you can't say there are allegations they are mixed with criminals there are allegations they are into drugs there are allegations that these officers are uh, uh, 
uh, trying to, you know, uh, they, they are into property business. Police officers. Okay. Police officers, bureaucrats and the politician and criminals, if they have joined hands for this, yeah. so what will be the morale of the lower force? So you are saying that those old wounds are still festering? Yes. More than 10,000 people were killed being terrorist. 50,000 were arrested under the TADA. Now 25,000 people, if uh, they are still there or their families are there, their children are there, have a grudge, have a problem with the people. So we have must do something to talk to them. We are talking to them. We are trying to do whatever is possible at this stage. So the government of India uh, has uh, uh, now a blacklist has been removed. They have been uh, given jobs. They uh, now 1984 uh, 84 riots. People are being prosecuted. The, the Modi government is doing everything. I have listed at least 21 work during the last seven, eight years, which Modi government has done for six. Mm -hmm. They are trying to, uh, Modi ji is a man who is always available to the six mm -hmm. for anything and everything. Amit Shah ji is the same person. They say that we believe in Sikhism and we are ready to do anything for the Sikh community. Mm -hmm. We have seen them celebrating Guru Tegh Bahadur's birthday. We, mm -hmm. and, uh, we, we have seen them uh, celebrating Guru Nanak's 550 years birthday, Guru Gobind Singh's 50th year birthday, making Kartarpur corridor, giving GST uh, free ration to Shri Darbar Sahib Amritsar and, and uh, so many things. And now Beer Wal Divas inviting students uh, in very large number to participate in essay writings for Guru Tegh Bahadur Sahib. Yeah. So they, they are doing wonderful. So is there any sense in the government that probably the farmers' agitation was mishandled? No, mishandled at the level of the state government. If the government is party to the agitation, how can uh, the people survive? The Congress was party to the agitation. Uh, Mr. Ajeev, Rahul Gandhi ji was moving in tractor on tractor to motivate people to join uh, uh, the agitation against the central government. Mm. If the Congress government under Captain Amrinder Singh, Rahul Gandhi and other people were burning tractors, the same tractor which they purchased from a Kavadiya in uh, 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 Chandigarh mm. and uh, burnt it in uh, first Jirkpur and then here in Singhu border. Mm. So the Congress government and all opposition party Everybody except the Bharatiya Janata Party was involved in, involved in inciting people to go for agitation. And so it was one part BJP versus the total Punjabis. So coming back to my previous question about, you know, how Captain Amanda Singh has been raising concerns about the situation in Punjab today. Is it that serious? Is it exact? Are the concerns exaggerated? Or are there radical elements actually raising the raising I told it? you the number. Mm -hmm. People are there. Mm. Actually, Punjab has a 550 kilometer boundary with the Pakistan. Mm. Pakistan is hell bent on mm -hmm. creating problem. Mm. They are sending drones. They are sending narcotics. They are, they, this is a business also. So, now we need trained, disciplined and motivated police. Mm -hmm. So there is uh, nothing has been done to now number nine IPS officer is the head of the state. What about the other eight? His so seniors. You, you don't see the Bhagavan Man government rising up to the challenge. Bhagavan Man government doesn't have any clue what to do. Every day you find a list of 50 people being transferred. So how will they let them settle down and perform? If somebody is not performing, action should be taken against him. So this is perfect government. 
uh, I would not pass any comment on them, but they don't know how to control the crime. Prosecute people and uh, secure their conviction. Prevention of crime is a priority, should have been the priority. If you allow people to raise Khalistan slogans on the roads, we have also handled this uh, Blue Star days, Kalukara days, but never allowed like this kind of uh, thing, maybe by negotiation. You don't need force to uh, make people sit at home. So it's, you can talk to them, negotiate with them, take their memorandum. And when you allow people to move on the roads with swords, rifles and everything, raising Khalistani uh, slogans, what will be the morale of the other people, peace-loving people? They are trying to terrorize people. What are the prospects of your party in Punjab? I mean, how badly was the BJP hit by this year-long agitation? I requested you, it was BJP versus all. Yes, but now so Now, what? BJP versus all makes everything. Mm -hmm. Now we have a plan for a peaceful coexistence. We love Sikhs mm -hmm. and uh, we are ready to do everything for the Sikh community. We have been doing. And I, uh, in their appreciation letter to the Prime Minister, they said that he is the Messiah of six. Yeah. Messiah, he is a godly person who is doing everything for the six. And now he has not stopped. On the farm agitation also, our Honorable Prime Minister declared to withdraw the acts on the birthday of Guru Nanak. Yeah. And he is a better Sikh than I think most of us. And the Sikhs love him. So they now feel that they have been cheated. Only the Bharatiya Janata Party government can progress, make uh, sure that uh, the state progresses. There is suddenly this debate on uh, conversion to Christianity. You know, uh, recently there was this incident of vandalism at a church in Taran Taran yes. where you were an SSP uh, long back. Yes. So how had it all started? We never heard such things in Punjab. No. Actually, uh, uh, the conversion issue in Punjab is date back 1849, when Maharaja Dalip Singh was converted to Christianity. But we never heard of churches uh, they, being attacked. And the way they have a lot of people there, and then force boys of the missionary school in 1873 were. Uh, converted to Christianity, then there was an agitation against them. So this is a very sensitive issue. But now, for very, I would say, uh, the uh, government did not take action at the right time. I wrote at least four letters mm. to the government in October last year, mm. then November. Now this Bhagwan Man government, okay, please verify this thing. Now the Christian, I have summoned rather invited the Christian missionaries and uh, the Sikh uh, uh, members here so they in April. Yeah. So there was a decision that there should be no fraudulent uh, conversion. Yeah. Yeah. Now they say they will can treat any illness. They can make a dead person alive. So they say we don't do it. Then who is doing it? Conversion right to religion is there in the constitution. But you cannot convert a person by fraudulent means. This is a story of fraudulent. Who are these frauds? Action should have been taken. I have just passed an order, even today, that a four-year girl was uh, uh, girl died in Jalandhar somewhere. They had asked, uh, they had taken fifty thousand rupees from the family on the pretext that we will make your girl alive, which is. Not who, heard. Who, who, who asked for this? The uh, uh, I would not call it church. A Dera people who who say they believe in Christianity and they will pray to uh, God Jesus to make her alive. So, what is the order you have passed? I have passed the orders right now. Hmm. Okay. I have passed the order to the Chief Commissioner, uh, Chief Secretary Punjab, to verify and take action. So, sir, uh, coming back to the uh, National Minority Commission, uh, there were also many reports recently about Muslims being at the receiving end of what has come to be known as bulldozer politics. 
So has the commission take note of it and what's your stand on this? Uh, one thing is very clear when mm -hmm. uh, bulldozer is used against criminals and with a court order. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the police goes to the court, mm -hmm. get an order from the competent authority and uh, do whatever they want to do. I, as far as none has gone to the court, except few RTI activists or uh, other people. So as far as uh, we have 140 crore population, as far as the riots are concerned, are well under control. And we, of course, we received a lot of complaints. Complaints of uh, marriage, against the other person, property disputes, discrimination in, of course, we get these complaints. And there are issues which are pending for the last maybe 100 years or maybe 500 years, like Ayodhya. This is not a new issue. So you are saying you hear complaints about marriage and all, are you No, we hear complaint wherever there is a complaint that uh, some there is a discrimination or there is a violence against the minority community. For me, minority communities is Muslim, Christian, Sikh, uh, Jain, Bodh and Parsi. So we went to the Jahangirpuri. Myself and my members went there. Hmm. So hmm. nine people were injured, eight were policemen. Hmm. And the gunshot wound was, uh, was uh, on a sub-inspector. And uh, that was in news for many, many days. So the, the, I met both the parties. They said, we have no dispute. We sit together, we celebrate it together, we Diwa uh, celebrate Diwali together. So we have no problem living together. No, in fact, so when you talk mm -hmm. about marriage, I thought you were getting cases of so-called love, love jihad. jihad. <laughs> no. So there are complaints of love jihad also. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, there are complaints from Kerala and Uttar Pradesh and other states, which we get verified so, and take action. What action what? do you We take? generally, uh, when there is a uh, settled law mm -hmm. that no gun, we get the, not only love jihad, the same thing in Jammu Kashmir. Sikh girls were abducted and uh, converted to Kri uh, Islam. So, but is there some such thing like love jihad as they say? Making a a statement on this is, I think, is not right thing. But of course, there are complaints. Sweeping uh, statement cannot be made mm -hmm. on such issues. And we should, there are complaints. And these complaints are marked or sent to the district or the mm -hmm. state to verify it and take action accordingly. In some cases, mm -hmm. we do summon them to the National uh, Human, uh, Minority Commission Court and hear the problem personally. But generally, the minorities have complaints on discrimination in shops, houses, uh, property cases, yeah, because jobs the, cases. So we hear all those problems. The so called love jihad cases should not be coming to the minority commission. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm surprised it's coming to you. <laughs> well, they, they, everybody. Uh, is uh, free to send and complete. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever we read, we just verify it mm -hmm. so that no person from the minority is harassed. But our main uh, focus is education and employment of minorities. Mm -hmm. So, so there were also reports uh, that the commission has uh, is seeking report on metros made uh, the kirpan being not allowed in metros. Yes. Uh, so, have you taken any uh, view yes. on that? Any? Yes. Yes. Okay. Gani Cable Singh had sent a report. Mm -hmm. Then, eighth of uh, September, around four thirty, he was not allowed to enter the train because he was bearing kirpan. So, I have written to the railway ministry mm -hmm. to verify it and take action against the person because kakar is kirpan is part of five kakars and it should be allowed but see it's not allowed in parliament also no no parliament uh, it is allowed 
You cannot enter the house with the kirpan. I mean. No, no. You can enter the house with kirpan. That is small kirpan. Small one. Yeah. The the mm-hmm. size mm-hmm. is limited size. Mm-hmm. So not two and a half feet kirpan. Mm-hmm. So for metro there is no such specification. I mean, no, it's a generally known that a Sikh has a right to bear kirpan. Mm-hmm. Because it is part of our Amrit ceremony. Mm-hmm. You can't ask me to remove kada and I have passed mm-hmm. order uh, that uh, they should not be, uh, this student should not be harassed during exams to remove their kada. Or, well, yeah. Thank you so much for Thank talking you. to the press. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Welcome, sir.